Hollywood heartthrob and lost star Matthew Fox has revealed what he believes is the vital ingredient to a successful marriage. What might that be, you ask, eh? Rowing. Yes, Matthew says that his marriage is a success because, quote, we fight well and we never uh, hold things in. So, is it better out than in? Is a good old-fashioned row and snarl up the secret to, <laughs> to long-term success? I think it's very, it, it, it is very damaging to suppress anything, anything that's bothering you. you. You have to vent, if you like, but I've learnt uh, bitter bitter lessons about this. I do have a tendency to vent and it seems like nothing to me but of course I'm sure I scare the living daylights out of whoever's around at the time but it really is a vent. It's once it's done it's over, move on, forgotten. Um, but uh, yeah it, it can be quite scary. Have you at always times. been able to do that? No I think that's part of the problem is, is that if you don't address a problem in the appropriate time at the appropriate place what happens is you then vent it in a completely inappropriate way, mm. completely wrong person, completely wrong time, mm. Mm. and that's not going to do anybody any good. And so that's yeah. probably the definition of a row, yeah. isn't it, as opposed yeah. to just a sort of heated argument. A row is when you lose it completely yes, and yeah. you say things you shouldn't really say yeah, and, and there's it's a line, very damaging. There yeah. is a line and you get a, oh, don't go there yeah, because once yeah. that line is crossed then trust is gone mm. and etc. I so. have to say I think Peter needs lessons really. I mean we're <laughs> so mismatched. My husband doesn't know how to row. You, you can't get him to do it and sometimes I find that really quite frustrating because I think it can be quite useful to clear, the, as long yes. as you don't go too far, just sort of clear the air. But he can't do it, he just can't do it. It's I'm, very frustrating if a partner yeah. who doesn't react because then you just go out and go out and go you out do, and go out you? until they do. Yeah. And that's big trouble. But I suppose big one trouble. person's kind of row as well is another person's just sort of <laughs> bit of a heated discussion. <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, people have different thresholds, don't they, for, for this? Yeah, well, I never... I'm, I'm not confrontational at all. I hate confrontation. But I'll sit down and discuss something. If there's a problem, I'll discuss it. Mm. But it has been the bane of Ray's life is the fact that, you know, if I'm really annoyed about something, I'll just walk out the room. Or if he's really annoyed, he'll start shouting and I'll walk out the room because I just think, God, oh, you know what? Do I you can't, never raise your voice? I can't be bothered. No, well, A, I won't raise my voice if, if the kids are anywhere in the vicinity because I can't bear the thoughts of no, them fear being fear scared fear or uncomfortable because mum and dad are rowing. Mm -hmm. And by the time the kids aren't in the vicinity, I'm over the row. I just think, oh, do you know what? I can't be bothered. I don't even know what I was angry at now. But there you go. It's kind of been that important then. Does he, does he well, push? it isn't to me, but it is to him. Oh, and right. he will push. push and, mm -hmm. and it will make him more annoyed the fact some you know, for nine years or whatever, he's been going, will you say something back? And then recently, not at Ray, but I had <clears throat> a massive, I mean, massive screaming the house down row with somebody. No. Yeah, and it was 20 when? years worth of pent-up aggression, I this think. Is this is recently, Recent, Well, a few months ago, this about three enormous. months ago. And it was so that. funny because, you know, my other sisters were there and Ray was there and... Um, and everyone just went deathly quiet because <laughs> they've never, ever heard me shout. And it was, like you say, it was over something actually quite trivial, but it was, it was been building up and it had been things that I'd gone, oh, I can't be bothered, it's not worth it, not worth it, and then all of a sudden it was, you know. And um, I have to say that firstly, I went up, uh, then I went up to my bedroom and Ray came up and went, oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Nine years I've waited to hear that. And I said to him, do you know what? I feel really good. Yeah. I mean, I didn't feel good about the row because I didn't actually like upsetting the person and them upsetting me. But the, all the issues I'd had were then completely gone. And in actual fact, I'm closer to that person now than I've ever been because I've no more issues with them because they're they're out. Because you've got it off your chest. Yeah, probably, isn't and it, it and it yeah. was um, it, and that was a lot of issues. Yeah. <laughs> you of course wouldn't know. No. Um, you must have little rows. <laughs> little issues. <laughs> Do you know, actually, I, I, I'm actually um, quite quite confrontational. In, not in that kind of, I ho well, I hope not that in that combative <laughs> way. Row. But I'm quite <laughs> upfront with somebody in as much as I think I'd rather talk to somebody about something that bothers me than talk about them. Big believer in that. So I don't know if that constitutes with everyone. a row. Yeah. Really? But recently, um, towards the tail end of last year, there was somebody that I'd, I'd fallen out with um, and, it, and that, that this person had hurt me really badly, mm. really, really badly. And, um, and we hadn't spoken for a long time, and then we did, and, and we had this kind of... I don't know if it would constitute a row, but we had a big clear-the-air conversation, mm. and I always thought that if I'd had a chance to kind of air my grievances with, with this person, mm. that, um, 
that, that, that she and I would see eye to eye again and that I would feel so much better for having said, right, this, you need to hear this, this mm. and this. And it didn't make me feel any better. No. And it's really me, made me rethink my attitude towards just being so combative all the I time. Think, I think sometimes you have to go, it's not worth it. It is. I think age teaches you that. Yeah. But things said in anger yeah. are never good, That's why are I hate they? Rounds, never, no one you listens. do learn that with age. But so you, I never you know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do with her? Well, you're just... Well, you're no good to us, are you? What are you going to talk about? <laughs> Seriously, you never row. We debate. We have heated debates. Does he do as he's told? Yeah, I wish. Oh. <laughs> Trust me, now you're on loose women, you'll be having loads of rows. <laughs> Somebody told me, they warned me, they oh, be careful about that. Yeah. Oh. We so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> go a week night, you're going to have a good old dust up. <laughs> Start the weekend as you mean to go on, that's what I say. OK, we're going to take a